What's going on everybody? It's your boy Ethan Debbie, you know, I'm back with another video. If you by the title on this video, I'm gonna be doing my first story time. I'm gonna try and do no cuts in this video. This video is gonna be on the story time about how I almost died. Close in that. But I technically could have died. I could have almost died, obviously. But I ended up getting surgery to know about all this stuff, so let's hop into the story time right now. Alright, so I was in I think like third grade maybe I might have been third grade third or fourth grade okay so I woke up I spent the night at my grandma's house I woke up and all I remember is I could not move like I could not get up or nothing so I crawled to the bathroom because I had to go to the bathroom I didn't know what was wrong with me I got out of bed crawled to the bathroom then I ended up going to the bathroom opened the door like I don't know how I ended up getting myself up but I crawled back to bed slept a little bit longer I woke up my mom was at my grandma's house and I kept telling them my stomach was hurting. They're like, oh, try and eat, try and eat. Like, maybe, like, you need to eat something. So I remember I was eating cereal, and I could not eat it for nothing. And my mom was like, all right, well, if you don't feel good, we won't go to um, your dad's friend's house tonight. So sorry I got interrupted a little bit. But, so, what was that? Yeah, there was had uh, sons I hung out with all the time. So I was like, oh, I feel all right then. Like, I wanted to go hang out with them, obviously, because uh, you're literally you want to go hang out with your friends, you know? So I end up... Uh, tell my mom I felt good. I went home, like got, gathered all my stuff. Somehow made it home. I remember I did not feel good at all. Got home, laid down. Like seven o'clock came around. We all got up, like got ready, got dressed, went in the car, drove to his friend's house. Um, from what I remember, I'm gonna remember a lot because I'm trying to think as I'm telling this story. Um, we got there. I hung out a little bit. Then I ended up like not feeling good, so I went outside to get air. And they had like a little basketball court. I sat down on it, and the last thing I know that I was laying down on it, and my mom came out, and I felt okay. I was like, no, I don't feel good. My stomach hurts a lot. So we got my dad, and then they drove me to the hospital. I think it was the emergency room thing. thing. We sat there for a pool, probably like five, four or five hours, just sitting there waiting to get called back. It happened sooner or later. I remember they dropped, they uh, drew some blood and put like IV in me, and they told me that my appendix was gonna like burst soon. And if you don't know what your appendix is, it's like right here on your body. It's like right above like your right thigh. Um, um, I'll try and show a picture of me like what my like my surgery looks like now. It's kind of gotten smaller, but when I was little, it used to be big. So we ended up going like to the hospital. They transferred me in an ambulance to, um, I don't even know what hospital. I asked my mom. I'll let you guys know. Um, but I'll try and find some pictures in here. But they transferred me to a different hospital. And... All I remember is like everything was going so fast, like everyone was just talking and talking like I was not going to make it or something, like it was crazy. So we got there, my mom and dad were already there, they met me there, I think they drove in the car behind the ambulance. So we met him there, um, I got like on a stretcher, they put me inside, and then I got into another waiting room, not in a waiting room, I got into another like room, then they kept drawing my blood and IV, and then I was just laying there like watching TV, and then all I remember is them waking me up. And like tell me that I had to go get surgery like right now or it was like it was gonna be like something major my appendix was gonna burst inside of me and if any of that like fluid leaks out you can die from it like it's like poison or something like that I don't know what it is exactly but you can die from like your appendix rupturing inside of you so we, I ended up getting surgery I woke up everyone was around me um, I was my stomach was hurting so bad I um, they wanted me to get up and try and walk I could not walk for nothing. Like I had my, my little IV pull. I was holding on to like my little IV thing, trying to like get myself to walk. And then they said I had to um, go poop, like poop solid, before I could like go home. Boy, trust me, believe me. I wanted to go home so bad. I wanted to go home so bad. I told them that like, I had already pooped. And I flushed it down there. Like, are you for real? Like, yes, I did poop. Boy, I did not poop. Let me tell you that I did not go to the bathroom. I told them I did, but I did not go to the bathroom. That's for sure. All right, so we like get back to the house. This is like a full week, like from the start of where it is to the end of it. I was in the hospital for like a week and a half, actually. Remember, all I could eat was Jello, ice cream, yogurt, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to go home. Then I remember I couldn't. I didn't even like make it to my bed. I like lay down on like the poker table and started watching TV. My dad ripped off the bandage, and that thing hurt so bad. Like my whole family was okay. So my whole family was like so scared that I was not gonna like. Because I was little, obviously. Like, when you're little, stuff happens, you're gonna get scared. Like, your parents get scared. You don't really trip, but you don't think about what's going on. My parents were, like, so sad. Everything, everybody was so sad that, like, that had happened. But I think I ended up missing school for, like, a couple weeks. Or it was during summer. It might have been during summer, actually. 
you and Marvin during summer. So hope you guys enjoyed this little story time on how I almost died. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Try and post notifications. We're on the road to 400. We're at like 350 something. Let's get to 360 by the end of this day, like the end of this video. I'll see you in my next video. I'm out.